you may hear a little music in the background and what we'll be dealing with is my husband is practicing he's a musician and I am going to with this particular please forgive my nails because I get a nail appointment tomorrow and I have not even put lotion on my hands because I didn't want to get it all over stickers as I do it so uh, ignore my hands, but I am going to go ahead and I filled out the right side of the planner. So you, for one thing, because I need to go ahead and, you know, use, always do the checklist first, the to-dos, um, because I need to go ahead and, like, use them. Uh, I am y drinking some um, iced coffee instead of regular warm coffee with a little, uh, like, drop of vanilla makes it just kind of feel like a special little drink and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this one and show you the next one so what I do is I go ahead and put on all the things that are extremely time-consuming like headers and things like that but then I leave some because I mean after all that is part of what we do so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the headers here and I usually put right underneath the to do's I put the headers for meals and what I use that for is not so much meal planning. I mean, I do sometimes use it for meal planning, um, but sometimes I use it to keep a record of what I'm eating. You know how some people keep a, um, a food journal? This is kind of my version of a food journal. So, yeah. And you get to hear little tributes of music in the background. Okay. And then underneath that is little TVs. Now, a lot of people do these little TVs. Oh, by the way, this is Clever Gal Crafts, and she's on Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com. And I will, um, I will, um, link it below. And, um, I just try to make sure I get real matched up, so it may take a second. On, um, oops, that's not quite far in enough. I tried to match it up on this line here. And I push it down with my nail. It's a little too far, so I'm going to drag it just a little. Just a little. I dragged it too much. Yeah, some things I am not so perfectionistic about, and then others I am. It's just weird. And it just depends on also how long I've been working on one. Like, am I just, like, over it? Like, I'm fixing me over this. The other thing is I've got to come up with a way to film overhead. Um, cause I also do makeup videos. I also do, um, weekly devotionals, sometimes more than one a week devotional, except right now I'm behind again and I have no weeks except when I'm doing vlogs. Um, we have kind of conversational devotionals. Um, I may do less and less of those though. I really need to sit down and do actual Bible studies. I think that's what I'm more comfortable with. But anyway, okay. Um, but anyway, what I use the TVs for, sometimes I do use it for a TV show that we're watching, but for the most part, I use this for, um, what I'm doing for my YouTube channel. So I may put, um, you know, tutorial, or I may put, um, unboxing of the new It palette, or something like that, or I may put, um, giveaway contest, or winner of giveaway contest, or if I have uploaded so much between past videos that I just let all uploaded in one day, which y'all have noticed I do sometime, or um, vlogging, sometimes I won't do anything that night, and I will just watch a TV show, and I, and I put down what me and my husband chilled and watched. <laughs> so that's what that is. Then, um, as you can see down here, we have a place for the bottom washi, and I love bottom washi. That is a condition of me buying a kit. Um, I would think any kit by now does have that, um, but the reason is because it just pulls, as you can see, here to here. It just pulls, like, look at that right there, and then this. It just pulls the whole thing together. And so what I do is, um, let me put my little pin here and here so I can line that up because I'm going to have to move this for a second so that I can put this on facing me. Right, what I do, just so you can kind of still see, is just it's sideways for you, but you can see what I'm doing is these lines that end in the box that begins, I put it there and kind of tap it down, make sure it's as straight as possible, and then I straighten the bottom and just smooth it out. Then on top of that, because of this particular 
uh, Etsy shop, which I absolutely love uh, this gal. I really, really do. Um, wait a minute. She doesn't have... Um, wait a minute. I was thinking she had um, hydration stickers. That's actually Manoli, um, Magnolia mm. Boulevard. Uh, this gal, she had this stickering right here. This is like a long strip, and I am going to go ahead and put that right on top. And it's here on the one of the deco pages. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. The other one I'm going to use at the top. And I'm just going to line it up again. Like totally flush. There we go. Just tap it down. Get all the way to the other end. I may pull a little just to make sure it lines up all the way to the end. And then smooth it out. Now, the other thing that I will do, as you can see that I've done before, is, um, is that lined up pretty good, um, is I go ahead and put some washi here, and then also, actually, if I put washi there, I don't need any above, and I'll tell you why. It's because these um, particular um, half boxes are actual little squares, and I love that. I absolutely love that. So I'm going to go ahead and get the washi and lay it down. But before I do that, because I want to make it match, I'm going to go ahead and switch back over. Here's the washi. But I'm going to go back over and switch to um, the full box. And I've decided I want to put that in a row here. And then these pieces I'm going to use over here in the sidebar. So let's start with the little beautiful deer with berries in her antlers and the little doily lace behind her. And what I'm going to do is line it up with the um, header for the to-dos. Make sure it's good and straight. Good and straight. Whoops. It is so hard to do this sideways, y'all. There we go. Is that right? There. So pretty. This is one of the prettiest I have ever seen. So the year is getting off to a good start because these this was a pretty little New Year's one. And um, you know, just the kind of black and gold and white. And then they also threw in some blush glitter. I love glitters and mattes. And it was very New Year's-y, so this was kind of not necessarily Christmassy, but wintry, like a woodland, cold look. And it is very cold right now. That's a little too far. Is that right? There we go. And I love the way this, again, is brought together with this bottom washi. It just kind of brings the whole page together when you do that. And then, of course, you've got the fir tree there. The fir tree's along the bottom, and so I want to use this other uh, full box of fir tree in the very beginning. It's a little too far to the right, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay. So that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, the other thing that we're going to do is... Um, if we needed any um, extra color, you've got these these extra washies here, which I really do like that you have that, should you need it to use for the bottom. But I'm going to go back to the header page. Where is it? Where is my header page, y'all? We're not through with that. Where is it? Hold on, sorry for the disorder, y'all. What's the other one? Uh, that's the deco page, isn't that pretty? Plus, you got all these little extra checklists to use. I just think it's so pretty. There's a last of ways. Where's my header page? Is that my header page? It is. What's well, my little heart? I'm just like, where's my head at? So, that's not what I need. What do I need? I need washi, sorry. No, I need the today stickers. There they are, because there's only three. I didn't even notice them. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to make them match um, the um, to-do. 
So it would be red is first for today. And I'm just going to let them sit right on top of the um, thimble box. There we go. And the next one will be kind of this, um, kind of a muted, almost a turquoisey green. It's like a muted sage, but it's got a blue undertone to it, which is real cool. Like a, a blue snowy sky. And it just, it's perfect for this time of year. There we go. See, it's even this background color, see? And that is a blue snowy sky. So I just got that perfectly. I should give myself 10 points. Okay, and then we're going to do this beautiful evergreen color. And it's just so pretty. This is just like such a perfect one for this time of year. I just love it. There we go. Okay, so now all the headers are on. No, they're not. I really screwed up. And here's the thing. I'm going to have to undo it. So here's the good thing about removable mat. you got to be careful with it. And I'm going to let y'all see when you really screw up what that looks like. So what we're going to do is line these up on the edge of my desk. Does anybody see what the screw up is? Did you notice anything about the header sheet? I did not put the tidbits or little things. Header down here. Okay, there's just a little bit right there, but that's okay. So that's okay. Pull slowly. Like, use your nail underneath the sheet and kind of pop the edge up. Okay. We're going to pop that edge up because it just naturally came up. But this is why, to me, it's worth if you have to pay a little extra for removable mats. Some people don't charge it. I don't remember if she did or not. But it's always worth it because if you get something that you put it down, and unless you never, ever make a mistake, which good for you if you're that person, but I'm not that person. I make all kinds of mistakes. So I'm going to pop that edge.